I should have told him. It was stupid to just sit there with my mouth shut. Oh, come on, Ed. I think you did just fine. You did the only reasonable, logical thing. You told Tom and Charlie exactly how you feel about the Supreme Court decision, and you let it pass. Exactly. Except I don't want to let it pass. Yeah. I don't want to either. What I wanted to say was, look, I'm one of those guys, which doesn't make me un-American or some kind of a freak. Just not normal. I feel perfectly normal. Don't you feel normal? Well, actually, my stomach's been bothering me. I took some tums. That's not what I meant. You know it. Now, look, what good would it do to antagonize the guys you're working with? That's probably why your stomach's bothering you. Tension. Trying to live a facade, a fake facade. They'd only give you a lousy time about it. You'd wind up getting into fights, and we'd have to move again. Mm hmm I'd have beaten the living crud out of them. And you can move if you want to, but I'm not moving anymore. What do you mean? I mean, look at the Israelis. They fought back, and the Arabs aren't exactly crazy about it, but they don't give them the, the same trouble that Hitler did by a hell of a long shot. What the hell are you talking about? I'm talking about being open and honest. I'm talking about living a normal life like a normal couple in the suburbs with a nice little suburban house and a mortgage and sloppy trash collection. Well, we don't know that it's sloppy. We only know that it's slow. I'm talking about getting married is what I'm talking about. Formal wedding or uh, justice of the peace? Come on, get serious. Well, you get serious. White's not my color, and uh, I got sweaty palms, and I think the, uh, the bouquet would wilt. All right, I'll get serious about tax advantages and joint returns and not hiding in my own house like some kind of a leper. Besides, you know what they say about any man over 30 who isn't married? What? Well, he's got to be some kind of a queer. I thought you didn't care about what people say. I don't, but wouldn't it make you feel pretty good? Oh, I feel just fine. I thought your stomach was bothering you. Well, Tums work very fast, especially when you wash them down with a glass of milk with an Alka-Seltzer in it. Look, let me just ask you. Wouldn't it really give you a kick if the next time that you just had to go to some company dinner... Well, that's it. That's if I get a job. Right? Instead of taking your mother, as usual... Oh, come on, Ed. Those guys take their wives. Terrific. You can introduce me as your wife, Ed. I won't mind. Oh, get serious. I am serious about you. Why? I couldn't tell you exactly at the moment, but I am, and about getting married. Be reasonable, will you, Ed? I know, and logical. You know what I'd like you to do? I'd like you to stop being afraid. No, I'm not afraid. You're ashamed. I'm not ashamed of anything. Then let's do it. I'll think about it. Do you mean that, or are you just saying it? I really mean it. Why? Because my... the stomach acids are... It's a technical knockout, that's what it is, and I... I'm sick of fighting. How to be like opening all the doors and windows and just letting all that fresh air in, believe me? I can just see the... Uh, the social notes in the Fernwood Courier. <laughs> you make a beautiful bride. Can I phone in my I do? Sure, as long as it's an I don't. Well, are you both ready for dinner? Yes. His stomach's on the fritz. Oh? Anything wrong? No, 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 it's nothing. And he wants to go on living in sin. You were talking about marriage again, weren't you? Fantastic, Betty. You must be psychic. No, just a mother. Mm hmm who doesn't approve of her son's intended. That's not true, but I just don't understand why we always have to go around making spectacles of ourselves. Is, uh... Is saying I love you to anyone making a spectacle of yourself? Well, no, but... But, but what? She's just saying there's a time and place for not offending people, Ed. I have only two words to say to people who are offended by any kind of love, and I can't say them in mixed company.